Hello YouTube and fellow preppers, this is Jordi Prepper. So I was retiring my cycle backpack to storage for the winter. I don't tend to cycle over the winter simply because there's a lot more risk involved. I tend to do other exercises such as walking, running and indoor exercising. And you can see here that on the left I had an emergency blanket in my bicycle bag and the packaging was broken and open and I needed to replace it with a newer version which you can see here on the right. So I thought, well, what can I do with the old one on the left? And something I've been meaning to do for a little while now, but which I've just experimented with. So let me show you what I did. So here is the reflective blanket from the bicycle bag. It's been replaced with one that's already sealed, as you can see in the picture previously. Basically what I'm going to just do is unfold it. I'm going to position it along the bedding railings here and just see what sort of kind of size the, the actual blanket is. Position it towards the top end here, which is where the majority of my body heat's going to be. The idea is that obviously heat's going to reflect down from my body, and then this blanket should be there to help reflect heat back up again. So, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on there, position it, put some tape to keep it in place, and over the weekend I'll just see how it goes with it, if it actually makes a difference. And if it does, then you'll be seeing this video on Monday and something for you to try out. Obviously if you want to go a step higher than the reflective blanket this is the space blanket you know that's got a padded side it's not as it's not as like crisp as this it won't make as much noise I don't think and inevitably it's going to be much better but this is just like a really really cheap solution just to get a little bit more heat reflecting back up onto you as you're lying in bed. Alright guys, so with the fall blanket unfolded and on the bed, it's on the framework of the bed there you can see. So it goes from this side to that side almost to the full width of the bed and from the very top of the bed down to the very bottom almost. Now this is a north to south facing bed which is the best position for your bed to be in. Always have your head at the pole of north and your feet down at the south obviously. So some considerations obviously we've put in the blanket on, it is a foil blanket so it's got to make a bit of noise obviously under some certain circumstances. But the idea is that reflective on both sides of it, it's going to reflect heat coming down and then obviously it's going to reflect some back up hopefully. So like I said I'll try it out over the weekend, I'll see if it makes any difference at all. If it does make a difference I'll report back to you guys. Alright guys, so after three days, a Friday night and a full weekend with this reflective heating hack for the bed here, I can honestly say that I've had a better and warmer sleep. I'm just under the bed now guys, excuse the ridiculous camera angle. And I've got some torches on here just to get the light in there, but you can see that the reflective blanket which is just a emergency blanket as you saw previously you can see there I mean I didn't even need to tape it the weight of the mattress and everything on top just keeps it in place for now so we've got a little bit of the blanket there just hanging down and you know I think this is a a decent hack uh, I think obviously you know it can be improved upon you could use different materials underneath the reflective layer and and obviously you know other emergency you know heat retention equipment such as like a space blanket which is obviously of a much thicker and higher quality I think that adding a reflective layer to the base of your bedding from what I've experienced anyways I think it's it's definitely something which I'm going to explore and improve upon so I just thought that I would share it with you guys. Obviously, you know, it winters here. Keeping warm is so important. So have good quality bedding. Have good quality pillows, etc. Because sleep itself is also extremely important. Um, so, you know, just take, take some measures to get some good sleep, some good warm sleep. And emergency and heat retention equipment which you would take into the field, which you would take camping, 
using it in certain ways would definitely have some advantages in a bugging situation if heating is not available obviously you're not exposed to the elements because you have your shelter I think this is something that is definitely going to be worthwhile investigating at least alright guys so that's it for the update be safe, be well and be prepared this is Jody Prepper signing out